Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing an Ask Pink Sparkles for the month of June. So I have lots of questions to answer. I tried to gather as many questions as I could. So I'm going to make them sort of quick to the point answers for you guys so I can take in a lot of you guys and give you a shout out. So let's just get into it. So the first one is, if you got pregnant, would you keep the baby or put it up for adoption? If I was pregnant right now, I would definitely have the baby keep him or her, raise them with Dalton and have a happy family. I've been bullied for three continuous years every day at school and on the internet. It's by three certain people. Help me. This is so tricky because if it's on the internet, you can always block somebody. Depends on what website it is, but you can block, report. If it's on YouTube, you can send a report to YouTube saying that this person or these people are harassing you, bullying you, calling you names, whatever it is, and they should take care of it. But there most of the time is a block button on social media. And if it's at school constantly, it's hard. And so many people get bullied and it, it is very hard. I went through it. There are many people who go through it and you need to A, stay strong, B, keep close friends so you can talk to somebody about it. And if it's hindering you from going to school every day and if it's weighing on your self-confidence, talk to your teacher or your principal or somebody. Just talk to them. Talk to somebody who's higher up so that if they see it being done, they can stop it. Or, it depends on the situation, confront them and say, hey look, I don't really like that you're calling me names, I mean, I'm a nice person, I did nothing to you, or whatever the case is, just say to them, you know, I don't want this happening to me, I don't know why you're doing it. So there's uh, options to do it, it depends what your situation is to make one of those op options work, but the number one thing is to stay strong, know your true self, keep friends close to you, family, whatever it is so you can talk and discuss your problems. Hope this isn't too personal, just curious on what Dalton does for work. What career path does he plan on following? The two of you together are so cute. You can truly tell not only is your boyfriend, but he's also one of your best friends. Love your girl. He definitely is. We're very close. Uh, we have a great boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, but we're also friends and we can talk to each other about anything like he's just my number one and that's something that your boyfriend or girlfriend should be not only your boyfriend but your best friend as well so you can talk to them and what he does for work he does siding on houses that's basically what he does he works for a construction company with his friends and they build new houses together in newer, newer areas and he does the siding for them sometimes he paints and does odd work with building and repairing new houses and what career plan does he plan on following path as he plan on following sorry he loves doing that so I think he will continue to do that he's tried other pr career paths I don't know why I'm stumbling on my words so much but this is the one that he loves and he's very good at it when are the renovations going to be done we want a house tour I don't know if I will ever do a complete house tour just for security reasons like here's my front door here's my security alarm this is what brand it is like this is the not like I don't know, it's just, it doesn't seem secure to me. I do show many things in my house, but I would never do like a full house tour. I will do like a living room tour when it's all renovated. Um, but if you're talking about the bedroom renovations, I am very close to completing them. I don't know exactly when they'll be done. It's hard just because renovations cost money and time and it's a lot of work to do renovations, but they are getting close. I cannot give you guys a date when they'll be done, but it is close. Do you have any advice for people who have lost friends? This one got a lot of thumbs up and I'm not sure what you mean. I don't know if you mean like you were friends with somebody at one point and then you're not anymore so you lost them as a friend which I've had happen to me. Lots of us have. Or if you mean they passed away like you physically lost them in your life and in this world. Um, I could do an entire video on coping with losses in death if that's what you guys want me to do. Um, I took classes in it and had to do it for my embalming school if that's something you want. So I would like you guys to let me know if you want that. But if you're talking about just losing friends like over time or if you go to high school and they're not your friend anymore, there's a reason for everything. Everything happens for a reason and if they're not your friend anymore, there must be a reason as to why that is and you just have to keep following your path. I'm just wondering what the big deal is if we see your last name. I know pretty much all the YouTubers la YouTubers last names that I watch so I'm just wondering love you so much I got lots of this on one of my videos that I accidentally showed my last name edited it out deleted it reposted it with the last name cut out and it's 
because it's a personal thing to me. You guys have to respect somebody's personal choice. If it's my last name or my middle name or whatever it is, my address, whatever it is that is personal to me and I'm not answering or showing, you have to respect that. I'm a person, I have feelings too. And if you're not wanting to share with me or the world or YouTube or whatever, I'm not gonna be coming at you and saying, why aren't you answering this question about this or this or this? I would never do that because I'm gonna respect you as a person and respect you as a human because we all have personal things in our life. And with YouTubers' last names, I'm not gonna say for all YouTubers, but people do have fake last names. Oh, it's not called fake. A pseudoname? I think that's what the, the actual term is. But it's a name that you use for the internet so that people don't actually get your last name. For instance, Ellen Blair, um, their last names and their names aren't even Blair, what, Fowler? Is that, I don't know, I don't know. But that's not her name. I don't know what her legal name is. I've seen it somewhere. Again, I don't know if that's true, but I'm pretty sure it is. I support that. I support Ellen Blair for doing that and many other YouTubers who use a pseudo name or a fake name so that they hide their identity. So even though you think you know somebody's last name, it could be a hidden identity so to protect their last name. I'm not going to share my last name because just for personal reasons, security reasons, Reasons. I don't like to share too much of my personal information for the people posting my last name on there If I'm not choosing for that to be on there, that's highly illegal If I'm not wanting my last name my personal information being shown that is illegal if you actually read YouTube's um, Rules regulations and what you can and cannot post you cannot share somebody's personal information if they choose not to So I would be very careful for that and not being kicked off YouTube or worse I don't know but you shouldn't be doing illegal things if somebody doesn't want their personal information shown Do you like JB or not lol? No, I love him JB <laughs> Sammy, can you do a Hello Kitty haul from your collection? Um, right now, everything of my whole collection is in storage. It's in bags, boxes. I haven't seen a Hello Kitty thing from my collection for months. When we're done doing the bedroom, my side room, and this living room, then we're working on the collection. So when it's all set up, I will do a complete collection tour for you guys. For you guys! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> will you do the Girl Talk videos? Um, yes, I am. I have like a whole... I've been planning out like certain videos to do about all these girl talk topics. I will ask you guys on Twitter or Facebook certain questions so I could do like an FAQ as well, but I am planning it, so stay tuned for that, girlfriends. Lots of sit down vlog slash chat videos. I love hearing your stories and opinions. Thank you. Um, this one didn't get too many thumbs up, but I did come across it. But this was um, a request for what I should do more videos on, and I would love to do sit down vlogs on my vlog, or on this channel, sorry because my vlog channel, I've turned it into a recipe channel. So I would love to do that for you guys. Yeah, if that is something you guys would want to see, um, maybe I'll try one right after this video and post it tomorrow. But I would love to talk to you guys or rant or talk to you guys about a topic or just sit down and talk with you guys. I'll see how it goes. I'll do one right after this video, post it tomorrow and see what the response they get on it is. Question. Even though you can't be an embalmer, can't you still work with the funeral home and help with dressing slash putting makeup slash doing hair for the body? Like, isn't there other jobs within the funeral home that help prepare the body without having to be exposed to the bomb embalming fluid? I got many of these questions on my embalming video. Um, no, I really could not do that, especially in my city. If you are an embalmer, you are an embalmer. If think of it this way, this, cause I had this question, like why can't I still like do the makeup or dress or stuff like that? I had the exact same question when I dealt with this whole throat thing and my embalming superior told me the perfect scenario that I will tell you guys exactly how she explained it to me. She said to me, think of it this way, a funeral home gets two applications. One application is an embalmer, and one says, I'm an embalmer, but I can't do the embalming. I can still dress and cosmetize, stuff like that, prepare for the casket. But then the other one and the other five applications that she has does everything. They're obviously gonna choose the application that can complete everything because they're gonna have to hire somebody now. If they do hire me, if they like me better or my job is better, whatever, my work is better, they're still gonna have to hire somebody to do the embalming. So for one job, they're gonna have to hire two people and pay two people and have two other people on the job. So if you think about it that way, it's it doesn't work. And especially because funeral homes, they don't employ many people. They kind of just have an embalmer, 
funeral director or an embalmer and a funeral director who are do the same job, which is stressful. I've been in that environment too, who kind of does everything. But if you think about it that way, it's it would be like very, very hard for me to get a job and work in a funeral home if that's all I did. And um, you're still exposed to it if you're just doing the hair, the makeup. It's very close by the formaldehyde and everything. And you're still exposed to infectious diseases and just working in the environment. Um, I've been upstairs in the funeral home and have caught a whiff of the formaldehyde and it's burned my eyes. Same with other people as well. So no, really I can't. I mean, maybe if you're in a very small town and if you're like dad owned the place and you just wanted to help out, I'm pretty sure that would be okay. But I can't bank my career off of just specializing in one. You gotta do it all if you're gonna be an embalmer. Very good question though. And I've got, well, why can't you be a funeral director? Because I don't want to be a funeral director. I've done it, I had to do it for a practicum. I had to complete that course. It wasn't my thing, it's not something I wanted to do. So I'm not gonna pursue something that I don't like or that I don't want to do. I want to be an embalmer. She would be a good cosmetologist. Thank you very much. I have thought of doing that before, but honestly, I am scared to do other people's makeup. Like I can do my lashes just fine. And when I do it on other people, I get like black all the way around. I was so surprised when I did my boyfriend's makeup. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can click right here or down below. But I did a good job with the liquid eyeliner. Oh, I did it like, I did it so bad, but I'm just not good. I, it's like when I, my hand's this way, and it's weird. When, it, when it's this way on me, I can do my makeup. But as soon as I turn it, it's like, mm. I did my mom's makeup for one of her Christmas parties. Ooh, that was a fail. Fail. Like, it was so bad. But yet I do makeup and stuff, well, I used to when I was embalming on deceased individuals. But it wasn't like lashes and eyeliner and stuff. It was more like trying to mimic um, skin tone and flesh colors and stuff like that. There would be the occasional eyebrows or lashes, but it wasn't like full on, like I want a contour or I want this or whatever. I don't think I could do it, especially cause they don't move for me. I can do it so precisely. And if I screw up, I can wipe it off and start again. TMI, I don't know. I love you so much, Barbie. I love you too, girlfriend. Remember if you fall down, there's always gonna be an army of cuties ready to catch you and bring you back up. For some reason that just brought a tear to my eye. That was, I, I mean, I gathered all these questions beforehand. So I obviously saw it before, but I don't even know how much I can say thank you to you, to everyone who are so supportive on my embalming video and thank you guys for being there to support me. You guys are just so sweet of anything that I do if I have a struggle in any way and I want to be here to help you guys too and help you through issues. That's why I want to do the girl talk videos or maybe sit down vlogs about bullying or something like that. So uh, thank you. Truly. The Motivator shirt was free with purchase when she first launched her line. I got tons of these questions too um, on my Value Village haul, was it? I think it was. Yes, the shirt was free, but you can also still buy the shirt and it's like 15 bucks at the store. So for me getting it for like half the price was still a good deal because I actually went into Aeropostale the next day and it was hanging on the rack for $15. So yes, you, you got it for free with purchase, but you still could also buy it in stores. I live in California, so I'm not familiar with Value Village. I wish I had one close by. Is it like a Goodwill or Ross? It's more of a Goodwill. It's a thrift store, so people that have unwanted clothes that they don't want anymore, they can donate. Ross, I'm pretty sure is brand new things. I don't have one in Canada, so I wouldn't know. Most of the time, they're not even called Value Village in the States occasionally, but if it's in the States, it's a saver. I think that there is savers in California. Go to savers.com or whatever it is um, and type in your location, see if there's one close to you. Or if you do travel, like if you travel to another state or Canada one time, check it out. It's either Savers or Value Village or if you live in Quebec, it's Velo de Valours, Village de Valours. I'm so bad at French. I have no idea how to pronounce it, but Value Village operates under three names. Why did I show it like this? Hmm. I thought you looked really cute, but all of the clothes you have, why would you wear the shirt with the burn hole on the front flower? I couldn't focus on anything but that. Because of my how to be confident video, you guys, I don't care if there's a burn hole or this or that. As long as I feel confident in it and I like it, then I will wear it. And yes, it does have a burn hole in it. It's not that big. It's not like a burn hole. It's like a little thing like this. I'm still going to rock it. I bought it. I'm going to wear it a few times and then get rid of it. But I want to get my use out of it because I did spend money on it, even though I think it was $3, but that's okay. I really enjoy your videos, but now I think it's just kind of trashy. You're a grown, beautiful woman, but dress like a cheap 14 year old and talk to the camera like we are all stupid. 
I do I talk to you guys like you're stupid? I'm sorry if I do that or if I come across that way. That's just how I talk. Um, no, but I dress the same way that I have dressed since day one of YouTube. Um, I love dressing the way I do. I'm me. I'm myself. One day I'll be all casual and button up shirt all the way up to here, and next day I'll be like boobs. <laughs> That's just me. That's just what I like. And if you don't like it or if the 19 people that thumbs this up, if you don't like it, you don't have to be here. If you don't care about my trashiness, then you don't have to be here. Let me shake my boobs for ya. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it would be nice if we could get a full shot so we could see the outfit completely instead of one piece at a time. Oh my god, I know. <gasps> my daily dilemma. You have no idea how hard it is. Oh, it's just a disaster. When I go outside and film, I can show the whole body shot, but it's been raining so much here that I haven't been able to like go outside and film outfits a lot. But I try. It's just hard to get a full shot with a tiny camera and get an angle and a tripod. But I will work on that for you. I apologize. I will work on it. Next, I think we're about halfway done. Have you seen the movie Frozen? Just curious. No, I have not. I feel like she's changed a lot since she dated Dol Tahin. Look at her vids before she got with Dol Halton. She's funnier and looks a lot happier. I got lots of these kind of questions on not just Dalton, but other ones like you've changed. Why are you sad? You've changed so much, blah, blah, blah. It was kind of all in one video only, which is weird because it would be on every video, but um, absolutely am I sad and I'm not myself. It's not that I've changed and I've become a different person. I am just honestly depressed and so sad and it's like a daily struggle of mine to keep thinking that I can't do what I love anymore. And I know I keep going back to the embalming but you guys asked for it. It was one of the most asked questions and you've changed. It's not me changing, it's me being sad and not being able to follow my dreams. It's not me changing, it's me being sad and I'm trying to cope with it right now. That's what you're seeing. If I'm not happy and bubbly and freaking out like I normally do, it's because I'm trying to cope with this struggle of not being at work right now. Like, I would like to be at work right now. Like, it's sad. So I apologize and some people were saying it's Dalton. Um, I've been with Dalton for like 10 months. And I've just been getting this comment in the last month. Wouldn't you have commented this 10 months ago or nine months ago, eight, seven, six, five, you know what I mean? Like people are just commenting on it now and it's right now that I've started to like open up about my embalming. So that's why it has nothing to do with Dalton. He has helped me so much and he has made me the person I am today in a good way. I'm still me, I'm still who I am. I'm just more happy. I guess, and more confident in myself and comfortable and I feel loved and I'm just really happy to have him in my life. So no, it has nothing to do with Dalton or you guys would have been commenting this a year ago. <laughs> Sam, I have a video suggestion. Maybe you could do like a how I journal or something. Like show us some different techniques and cool ways to design a journal. Just a suggestion. This one got a tons of thumbs up. Yes, I really want to do that as well. I have some journaling video ideas planned for you guys. Can we just take a moment to see this girl's comment, just take a moment. I respect people's opinions, but think before you comment. I honestly don't get why you guys need to be so rude. I care, I get hurt, and so does everyone else. Sometimes hate can bring us down. Come on guys, let's all be friends. I respect yours, so I hope you respect mine. That is like one of the realest things I've ever seen in a YouTube comment. That is, oh, ah. I love that comment because just because I'm on a, a, a computer screen or if you have me hooked up to your TV screen or anything like that, just because I'm on the internet, I feel like it gives people the right to hate or bash. Or if somebody on a comment says like something or whatever it is, people seem like they have the right to bash them. But everyone does have feelings and everyone feels a certain way. So I really respect you, girlfriend. Good job. Samantha, I'm not hating on you or telling you anything mean. I mean, don't take it the wrong way, but in like every single haul video you do, whenever you get something from a new website, why do you always say, and no, I'm not getting paid to say this. Like, why do you always say that? Like you don't always need to get paid because you already have a lot of money because you buy a lot of things for the hauls. And I'm not hating on you and I'm just asking you. I'm not gonna take that the wrong way. I started, whenever I got a sponsored video or got something for free, I wanted to, be honest with you guys and let you know I'm not getting paid to say this or yes, I got this for free. And people were pr uh, appreciated that because before when I didn't, it was like, oh, you got that for free and you wouldn't say. 
I was like, okay, well maybe I should start saying. And then when I started saying, people were like, you're over saying it. You don't need to say this all the time. So you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, I guess. So maybe I'll just keep it all in the description box down below. Maybe it'll slip out of my mouth once or twice, but I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, if I'm showing you guys something, if I'm not being paid, but I will stick with it in the description box down below from now on. Instead of tanning beds, you should try self-tanner, like high-end, tart self-tanner. It's just better for you. I respect your decision either, either way though. Thank you very much. I have tried self-tanners and I don't like them. Um, they've left streaks on me. I haven't tried the tart one. Um, I've heard bad reviews on that one, but again, it's different for everyone. I haven't tried that one, but I've tried other self tanners and I just, I don't like them. I used to like the Sun Labs, but honestly, even to this day, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but I have uneven patches right here on my arm from doing that, from the streaks and the unevenness. I have a line, I think it's like right here. If you guys can see that. That's just from self tanner. That has nothing to do with tanning beds. I just don't like them. I don't like them. And if you use the tanning bed in the proper way, it won't be that damaging. But I just like tanning beds and I use them properly. I use the proper lotions and eyewear and I don't go for extended period of time. I've never burned in a tanning bed. Does anyone know what blush she's wearing? I'm usually wearing Living Doll by Hard Candy. I see Satan in your eyes. You don't know if you're going to wear that Laker dress or whatever it is. You bought socks and don't know why. Makes no sense. Why do you buy stuff you don't need or won't use? And also you've said you don't like showing your stomach, but you keep buying crop tops. Lastly, that duck face is 2006. Just saying. Okay, there's lots to address here. First of all, um, the Los Angeles shirt, or the dress, I'm wearing it right now just coincidentally. I didn't, wasn't sure if I was gonna wear it and I said in the video I think that I'm probably going to wear it. I wouldn't just buy something if I wasn't gonna wear it. I just didn't know how I would style it, I guess. But I do like it on. I didn't know how it would look on basically because I'm buying something online. Maybe I should have clarified that a bit more. I bought socks and don't know why. Um, I was just trying to be happy and funny. I bought socks to keep my feet warm. Why do I buy stuff I don't need or won't use? I am using them. I don't think I've ever bought something that I wouldn't use. And you said you don't like showing your stomach, but you keep buying crop tops. I don't know if this person just does not know my YouTube channel at all, but I always say when I buy a crop top that you can wear a high-waisted skirt, high-waisted shorts, high-waisted pants, you can wear a tank top under them is what I do like 95% of the time. Or I, um, ugh, something is in my mouth. I wear a cardigan over and tie it up like this or just like a, a blouse and tie it over my stomach. So I like never show my stomach when I'm wearing a crop top. You don't need to show your stomach just cause the shirt is this big. There's ways to style something around a shirt this big. I've already addressed this, but I think I need to do it again. So there you go. I've never, ever, ever, ever walked out of the house with a crop top on showing my stomach. <laughs> and I've walked out of the house wearing like thousands of crop tops, but I've like never, ever shown my stomach. If it is, it's just like this much. Does anyone know why she doesn't like the color red? I mean, she seems to point that out every time she's in contact with the color yet fails to explain why. Honestly, I can't even give you an answer as to why because I don't know why I don't like red. It's something in my brain or my eyes where I look at it and I'm like, ugh, blood. <laughs> I don't know what it is, honestly. I just, I don't know. It's kind of just like a, a gross, crusty pink. Like pink is cute and then it's like it just like faded and went moldy. Like, I don't know. <laughs> That's such a bad answer, but I don't know why. I just see it and I'm like, meh. You said in the video you have healthy hair, but you bleach your hair. Doesn't bleaching your hair damage it? Absolutely it does. But if you do take proper steps to taking care of your hair, you won't have frizzy or dried hair. My hair is super healthy. It's always nice and shiny. Um, I always can run my fingers through it nicely. I don't have any split ends. I get my hair trimmed regularly. I never have split ends. Some of these are extensions in here right now. I haven't worn extensions for a very long time. This is all my real hair here. It's nice and shiny because argan oil is one of the number one things. Ugh, now my hair went weird that I have to thank for that. But yes, bleaching your hair definitely damages it. Oh my God, Sam, your face is flawless. Why do you wear foundation? No hate, I love you. Thank you very much. I've worked hard to get my natural skin flawless or red spot 
free basically. And thank you for saying that. It really means a lot to me. I wear foundation because I like to even out my skin tone and I like to have like a soft palette. Like my face feels so soft when I put on foundation and I also just like makeup. I love just putting my makeup on and feeling really pretty and girly and I just I just like wearing foundation. I feel like it it smooths out my face and I love it. Sam, did you get a tattoo on your left wrist? That's one. Oh, why is my veins popping out? It looks like my veins are popping out here. Oh, no, I did not get a tattoo on my left wrist. Why is my hair being weird? My no, I did not. Um, that was one of my videos. I forget which one it was, but I had a stamp on my wrist because Stacy and I went to a show the night before and they stamped everyone's wrists. It was weird because usually you get a stamp here. They want to stamp everyone's left wrist. It was to get into a show because you paid the money whatever and then the stamp was to prove that you paid your money so that's what that was please do a first impressions on the new l'oreal magna mascara i never know how to say that word my brother would laugh at me because he says it like a genius and he always would make fun of me manga man manga wow i probably sound like a luck a luck a blah 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 I'm sorry. Rah. yes i bought it and i will be doing a first impressions i haven't written down when either Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So I will definitely be doing that for you. I saw your guys' thumbs up and I went out and purchased it. For the amount of subscribers you have, I really think you should improve the quality of your vids, like a better camera and backdrop. Um, for the backdrop, I changed up. Sometimes I will go film by the river. I will do the candle set up here that you guys love. I will put a sheet as a backdrop for a different background. Sometimes I'll film outside at my couch. I do switch up my backgrounds and backdrops a lot for you guys. It is hard with renovations and having my house like cluttered because it's all being renovated. And a better camera, I film in 1080p HD, which is the highest quality I think that YouTube can play. So I do have a great quality for a camera. You can go ahead and switch the um, quality to 1080p HD in any time in any one of my videos to get the hollest, to get the highest quality. Has anybody realized like Samantha and her boyfriend like keep getting hurt? First, like, Samantha got that embalmer toxic stuff and been getting bad colds and such. Like, she ripped out her dermal and her boyfriend pulled a muscle in his back. And then her friend got into an accident and then, like, Samantha cut her finger. What's going on and why do they get hurt so much? Either way, hope it gets better soon. Love you, Chomp Squad. And Decap got shot in the hand. That was one of the big ones. But I have no idea why we keep getting hurt lately. I don't get hurt that often. I'm not like rebellious and go sky. Oh my God, I wanna go skydiving now. But I don't know why. Hopefully it's just a period and it'll be over with. Thank goodness we're safe and alive and happy. So moving on to the Twitter questions. Are you making a trip to Edmonton this summer? Love you, yes. Is September still summer? blonde moment yes me and dalton are going for our one year anniversary to edmonton we're gonna be going mm, mid-september something like that maybe early september i'm not sure yet but sometime in september when sending a tweet slash text and putting some emojis at the end how many do you typically put either one or seven like i'll either just put the one to be like happy or if i'm like really happy or really sad or really crying or really puking or really raining i don't know i'll put like eight of them or seven of them in a row so i'll either put one or like 50. i keep saying different numbers first it was seven then it was eight then it was 50. i know it's not asking sparkles yet yes it is but where is your favorite place to go slash where do you want to go palm springs is my favorite place in the world last question is how old is Derek and what does he do for a living Derek is 18 and will be 19 in November November 15th to be exact what does he do for a living he works for a house company basically he builds trusses for houses my dog is shaking the camera this is what you're gonna get if I'm filming next to the candles the dog shaking the camera anyways he builds trusses for houses and he just builds material for brand new houses so that's what he does um, those were all the questions. Thank you guys so much for being so sweet and supportive and asking all your questions. I really appreciate it. And tomorrow I will try to post um, the sit down vlog, which I'm going to film right now. So we'll see how that goes. Let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Because it is super yummy and it's a great way to get fruit water without the extra added sugars and unnecessary.